Hello. Hello, everybody. How are we doing? Uh, who all is in here? Let's see. Springman. Hello. Albedo Galvin. Hello. Emily Belzer. I'm going to stay here because I know YouTube will fail to notify me before it's over. Typical YouTube. That happens a lot. Um, Malachi. Hello. Raxor94. Hello. Uh, Puzzle, Puzzle V. Hopefully the VOD, VOD will be uploaded after because I don't know if I'm going to be able to stay for the whole stream. It will be. And uh, I'm not going to unlist this one once it's done. This one will stay public, so it'll be even easier to find. Uh, Squirrel Master is doing arson or making bombs at work, so that's it's a fun day. Alchemy, hello. Hussein, Hassan, hello. Heartful Silent, hello. YouTube actually notified you. Congratulations. That's rare. Sir Top Hat, hello. A Space Pope, thank you for the six months. Good to see you. Cregan F, uh, this is the second you've managed to catch. Congrats. Kai, hello. Mark, hello. Um, and Peter, hello. Love your Seinfeld video. Absolutely spot on. Thank you. It, it was a lot of work. How am I today? I'm doing well. I played Witcher for a little too long this morning. So when I went to go get groceries, I only had a few minutes to eat. I mean, I, I ate in like three minutes. Like, I basically have like a full intact peanut butter sandwich in my in my tum tum at the moment. <laughs> yes. Uh, sometimes I have to force Katie to be in a video she doesn't want to be in. She's a good sport though. She did well. <clears throat> um. Okay. So today we're making an animation. Now, since we're doing it from start to finish in just a couple of hours, um, okay, camera's gonna follow me now. Um, okay, just now, now it's not gonna. I keep gesturing at the camera. Let me, let me do this. This is not a gesture. I can gesticulate with a pinky. Since we're doing it in the span of a couple of hours, uh, maybe, maybe three max. I don't know. That seems excessive for what this is gonna be. Um, we're just doing a YouTube short a few seconds like probably one shot I think uh, I think it's going to be pretty quick uh, so we're going to do that idea simple I'm not <laughs> I, I don't know maybe it'll go viral you never know on the internet but it's just kind of for fun um I know you've probably been asked this a million times, but have you met or personally interacted with Joel Haver? Have not. I think we had like a an exchange over Instagram DMs once. Uh, just got lunch and now you're ready. Good job. Me too. Um, let's get to it. What do you think? Good thing this is going to be a lot easier because uh, I don't have to get audio. I'll do Foley later. I don't have to get dialogue or anything. It's just going to be me. Uh, real quick. How long is this going to take? Almost midnight here. Probably not before your bedtime, but... <laughs> um, 
Yeah. By the way, Matt, are you from Texas or am I crazy? Nope, that's correct. How long did the Seinfeld video take you to make? Um. Okay, so longer than it, it should have from idea conception to finish video because I had the idea. Uh, I was about to do it. Then I got sick. So I had like a week of, I mean, writing, I guess, and thinking about it. Uh, then it took like three days, not a full three days to film, but I filmed over the course of three days while kind of working with some of the footage uh, in between. Um, and then it was, it was a lot of drawing. I think I, so Alchemy, uh, my moderator who's in chat right now, uh, helped me with some of the drawing because uh, I had a sponsor, so there's deadlines so I need to get out faster than I could have probably done by myself. Um, so every time Jerry is in the video, Alchemy drew Jerry. I did the rest of the characters. Um, so I think even with Alchemy's help, I, was, I still probably drew for f four or five days, something like that. Um, I don't know, it probably took about two weeks, I think, just like total time, probably about two weeks. Oh, Texas has been taken over by Kalachis. Yeah, Kalachis are fantastic. I enjoy them. <laughs> I didn't know that was a Czech thing. The more you know. Hey, let's get into making a video. Um, camera, you're allowed to follow me now. Okay, let me also turn on... Uh, I don't know how well this works. I haven't used this feature of my camera, but it has like an auto zoom as well. Um, let's see here. Um, one second, one second. There we go. Okay, so swipe board, overhead mode, desk view. I don't want that. Ooh, no, we want autofocus. <laughs> um, zoom. Okay, maybe it doesn't have auto zoom. I don't know. Um, hey, spam risk call. Very nice. Okay. So, uh, I gotta get the camera and the... Uh, I, we'll do green screen, why not? It's not that much work. But before I do that, since the camera's following me now, you can see this. Uh, he's all done. Uh, oh snap, did you know you could probably animate yourself a VTuber thing yourself? You don't want to worry too much about the camera so much. No, the camera's fine. It's just, like, it. the camera's good for function uh, and what I'm trying to do. And I also can, like, fully lock it off so it doesn't move. But, you know, the, this is the functionality I need from the camera. Are you ready for this? Yeah, so that that's 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 a helpful thing. Uh, how does the camera work? I don't know. It it's smart camera. <laughs> okay, let me get this chair out of the way. Okay. Um, <laughs> looks like I was doing a fashion show. I mean, kind of. Matthew McCluskey dot store merch shelf down below. Get get you the, the RGB nightmare. Uh, nice Star Wars posters in the background. Thank you. Okay. Green screen. All done. Uh, now, now it's camera time. Um, 
low key, I'd probably go uh, way overkill uh, with the camera setup I use. Sometimes I'll do contract work and I'll need a nicer camera. So that's why I have it. Uh, I don't know if you're trying to animate like this, it, you, you can use your phone. Like it's absolutely fine. It's going to work. Um, just lock off your shot, tripod, whatever. Stack it on books. Uh, that makes it easier. Okay. Should I close this window? I think we might get better. Uh, let's see, let's turn on this light here. Hey, hey. Okay, it found me again. Um, yeah, loving this camera. It's so nice. I haven't used it in this extreme capacity yet. Um, green screen, green couch, coincidence? I haven't used the couch in that manner, but I bet I could. Okay, this feels like a skit, man, at room. Yeah, this music's also not helping this. <laughs> um, nobody had a question. Hold on, I missed the original question. Uh, oh, hold on, we got a all chat here. Okay. Um. Oh, what are your mapping and D-Flicker and diversity? We'll get to all that. Uh, we'll absolutely get to all that. I need to film the shot first. Um, so let me... Well, maybe I don't explain the idea. Maybe you, you can take guesses at what the idea is. Um, you, I mean, you'll see it at the end. Uh, what mic do I use? So at my desk, I have the Shure SM7B. That's not what I use when I film. So I have some uh, lavalier mics from DJI. So they come in a little uh, charging case, like AirPods. Um, the actual receiver is sitting on the actual camera rig itself. Um, I just kind of leave it there until I need to charge it. Um, but it's just these, uh, just these little mics. And so, you know, just, there we go. I'm mic'd up, super easy. And if you wanted to, if you had a better, like, actual, you know, corded lavalier mic, you could plug it into these as well. This just makes it really easy. Okay, um... Let's, let's do this. Hold on. I was gesturing at my camera to have it lock in place. I'm not just <laughs> gesturing at you. Okay. Um, I need to go uh, grab a prop. Um, and then we're going to get into it.
it's good. You can just you can bop to the outside island music while I go grab that. Enjoy. you were hand boning us a message <laughs> and i could if i were gonna hand bone i'd do it way better than that okay um let me get the microphone out of the way um again i'm just filming one shot hurry someone make a meme with the mic on the green screen before he returns no I, okay, so I'm gonna have to pick these up and then drop them. So I'm gonna need uh, something to place them on. And uh, I think I've got the thing. If I'm not in my chair, he is. Okay, um, I'm gonna lock the camera off again and I'm actually gonna film this shot now. So of course my mic is at my desk, so you're not gonna be able to hear me uh, if I'm over there. I'll be back. you but I feel like that performance was extremely solid what <laughs> let's do let's do a, let's do a, a take two uh, just in case That's it. That's that's the performance. We're done filming. Now I gotta gotta clean it up. You may follow me, camera. You.
What? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you know what this looks like? Hold on, hold on. Let me let me do something real quick. Hello, people of Gotham. I want the Batman. Okay, um, I'm just gonna close the green screen, put it back, put the camera down. <laughs> That's the memory card. Uh, what's my kitty's name? That one is Momo. camera now we're back at the desk and we're back for good so let's lock that off okay yeah the camera follows um faces so if you lose your face it can get confused pretty quick that's okay so uh cameras normally record to memory cards uh sometimes like i'll film in 4k or whatever um so instead of a memory card, I have an SSD. It's a terabyte, holds a lot of footage. I actually need to clean up a lot of footage on it. So I'll find the two newest clips and um, that's gonna be what I filmed today. The rest are old animations and can be removed. Footage, what do you mean footage? It is, it is footage. Okay. So, new folder, we're gonna call this mail short. Then within here, another folder, footage. Should you not just wire up your camera to your PC and record directly to your PC? Um, it could, I guess. It's way more complicated than just recording to a hard drive and then Putting it over. Also, again, I sometimes use a camera for other things. So I need to have a memory card. Um, it looks like these are the two. Uh, let's in fact move them, not copy. Normally I would keep the footage on here. I, you know, it's... If something happens, if my computer blows up and I have to refilm that, it's not going to be the end of the world. So we're going to... We're also going to delete all 48 items. Too big to recycle. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, wait. How much is in here? Let's delete. Are those other things your OnlyFans, Matt? We won't tell. <laughs> no, it, a lot of that is Seinfeld footage. Okay. Good old DaVinci Resolve. I think there's an update. I didn't update it yesterday when I could have. That's on me. We're going to be running an old version. What can you do? No secrets in here. You guys have seen all of these. Let's do a new project here. Mail short. Okay. Uh, and goes the footage. We're really only going to need one of these. I probably did it better the second time, to be honest. I mean, yeah, it's fine. Let's pull this here. Uh, it's out point. We'll go back to the in. Uh, we'll kind of start at the first step. That is a solid walk in place if I've ever seen it. Holy moly. 
Um, but since this is a short, we're also going to set this to portrait mode. Which just does that, but that's fine. Um, okay. So let's zoom this in here. Uh, a little further out. Ooh, the top's on the bottom. Okay. Hmm. So this needs to be a little wider. Actually, okay, so as long as we get, like, how far do these go? To about there? Should be fine, right? Trying to make sure that I don't clip out of bounds anywhere on this. I mean, I know I do at the top and bottom. That's fine. Let's see what. Let's see if I can get this all the way in. And uh, so I do clip out the side there, though. That's not a super big issue. It is on this end. That's the kind of thing I'll have to fix later by like moving the camera virtually. Um, but Evsynth is going to have a little bit of trouble if I do that before or it's animated. So I just need to make sure the shot is wide enough to kind of get the whole performance in. Performance. <laughs> um, okay. So, I would normally just like key out the green screen, but you know, I have the chair here. I have, you know, I kind of go off green screen on the side. Um, so it's not super gonna work, um, but that's okay because Adventure Resolve has this magic mask effect if if you have the paid version. Um, let's move me over here so you can see my effect controls and stuff. So, also if you don't know how the node workflow works and you're used to like After Effects and layers and stuff, sorry, um, it's not that different it just like it kind of takes like training your brain on it until it like clicks and then makes sense so anyway uh basically this is the footage right and this is like the final look so it's what it outputs and everything you want to change goes in the middle so right now all that i have is the footage goes in gets affected by magic mask and then it goes out to the final since i haven't done anything with this effect it looks the same so this is the original footage. This is the output. Uh, ben Hairston can't stick around. Stop in to throw you a like. Might want to record one later. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, please do. So let's see. I think one like this. And uh, so I'm going to draw over here. You kind of draw on one, what you want to keep. My hair's a little floofy in this. Okay. So we've drawn those lines. We'll hit track forward and backward. Uh, let's also set this to the... Yeah, let's cancel the render. Let's set this to better. Okay. And try again. It's not going. There it goes. Did I set it to Wumbo? You know, I did forget. Thank you. Uh, so as you can see, it's working pretty well already. It's okay if they disappear. Um, I'm not super concerned about the letters necessarily. Alright, there it goes walk away you can see it's kind of getting transparent that's not an issue I mean there's a lot of settings to refine that so we'll do that Ooh, need to get off of Vegas yep I agree okay so you know if the headrest is in there oh it's gone Actually, I think that's fine. It like, cause like it disappears. 
until like I actually handle the letters, right? Trudging along, so it's, it's getting there. And okay, it's done. So it might need some refinement. Let me scroll back through this. So, okay. I really don't want that. So you can kind of, oh shoot, okay, well. Yeah, let's cancel that render. Okay, if we do that and then, oh, that's one frame, it tracks. No, 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 no. Come on, keep going. I don't want this arm thing here. Yeah, get rid of that. Okay, we might just have to live with it. I don't think it's gonna be the end of the world. Ideally, I should have just put the letters on top of something else green, uh, but I didn't. So, okay, let's set this to matte view. So I can actually see to clean this up. Um, yeah, it's gonna look a little pixelated no matter what. Let's see. We want this to be as crisp of a line as we can get it. It looks like really pixelated up close. That's fine. Uh, you just kind of zoom out. Okay, we can set this back. Uh, does it, oh geez, okay, hold on. Gotta run the tracking again. It'll just track the untracked frames. Uh, Jurassic, how do you say the last, the last part of that name? Kuntz? Anyway, thank you, <laughs> sorry about that. Thank you for the, uh, $5 super chat, use this to get yourself a green mailbox for next time. Yeah. You're right, I should have been prepared. <laughs> Thank you very much. Just like Dean Koontz, okay. So, it's not perfect, but neither is the animation, right? Absinthe kind of smudges and it it won't really matter if the mat wasn't just perfect and pristine, you know? Uh, gob? Gobby? Hey, Matthew Lover stuff. Thank you. Okay, I think we're done here. So normally, what I would do, I'll, I'll show you how, how I do this. So normally I would come here, you know, you've got a whole timeline of multiple clips. It's all edited. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself with that explanation. Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, we'll pull up the Seinfeld video so you can take a look. Every time I say Matt, I get really confused. Yes, M-A-T-T-E. I'm not speaking in third person. So, like, I would have this full timeline, right? Like, all the shots would be edited and trimmed down and put in order before it's animated. So then I would come in here um, and I would export them all. Uh, unfortunately, DaVinci Resolve can't do PNG sequences yet. Um, so I have to do TIFF sequences and then I have to use a converter after to convert it all to PNG sequences. But since we're just doing one shot, there's actually an easier way that'll get us a PNG sequence. So. Uh, in Fusion, there's a thing called a saver. Um, so you plug the output into that. And then you can come in here 
and you can tell it to save stuff to wherever. So let's go to animations, mail short. I gotta make my ng sequences folder. Inside of this, we need the shot, which is exactly what you see here. And then we also need the map. So in here we'll do, you can see the name Kramer one is still here. For, um, we'll do shot. Um, so this is just gonna be this one. And then we can copy paste this. We're also gonna grab a color corrector. This plugs into that, that plugs into that. Uh, and now we're seeing what the color corrector is doing in the left side here. All I'm gonna do is bump that gain up until it is fully white. And then we're gonna change this to go into the matte folder here and we'll name this matte. So the reason we use the matte here, so basically this is what gets outputted, right? One that's normal color, one that's all white. So the normal color one is what I'll use to draw over and what Epsynth will use to match up the drawings. The white one here tells it, tells Epsynth when you are matching the drawing to the video, you keep it in these bounds. It will not draw anything outside of just the white area, which keeps it just the shape of the person. So like, even if it's, you know, I'm waving my arms around and all the colors on the arm are all smeared and whatever, and it's crazy, it'll still look uh, decipherable because the, the shape is correct, if any of that makes sense. Anyway, we have our saver set up. So now I'll click render all savers. And now we wait. Nice, Matt, Matt, thank you. Thank you very much. Looks like there's about three minutes remaining. We have three minutes. Three free minutes. What do we do with that? Cooper Doy, hello, welcome. Do we have any guesses about what the video is about at this point? <laughs> Freestyle rap. Mm, no, thank you. What is your secret guilty pleasure food? Oh, hey, you know what? I know exactly what I'm going to do in this spare time. My my HelloFresh just got delivered, actually, and I need to go put that in the fridge. Uh, what a convenient time and a convenient plug. If you would like to try HelloFresh, you can go to the Seinfeld video and use the link there. You'll get a special discount and food and help the channel. That's like, come on, that's that's three. That's a three in one deal. Okay, I'm gonna go grab that. I'll be right back, guys.
Hi, I'm back. Mike was muted. Um, okay, let's see some of these guesses here. Um, doesn't look like a Stardew Valley animation. It's because it's not. Though, you know, mail is a pretty big Stardew thing. Okay, there's a little... There's a little issue here. So, okay. Going through someone else's mail and tossing it out because nothing is interesting. That's close. Um, let me come in here and fix the legs. Holy, whoa, 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 what the heck? Wait, why did it look so messed up? Oh, here it is. Why would... Why is it? Okay, it's just getting worse. It's just getting worse. We can deal with the little hiccup it had. Okay, we'll deal with that. Okay. So now we have all of these, right? Mr. Grath, thank you for the mustache super sticker. Hello and welcome. So now I have to pick keyframes that I'm gonna draw. So we're gonna start off, uh, you know, first one really doesn't matter. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, so we'll copy that. Crap like this is why I'm not worried about the Terminator <laughs> coming true. Yeah. Okay, so now an arm crosses my body, right? So... I think it'll be good if we take this keyframe here, um, and then another one with like the letters in hand, and then, you know, holding them in the center. And then, um, uh, turning, and now the arms drop to the side, and then I walk away. Okay, so that's gonna be, how many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven keyframes. Uh-oh. be drawn for a bit but it's not, it's not gonna be too bad i guess there's not really a lot of detail aside from the face this should be pretty quick okay new new file please 1920 by 1080 let's go first thing new empty layer delete the background then we start with number one here um, and then I drag that, I duplicate it. See, this is why we key it or roto it out first. Because then I duplicate it. I have an action saved that throws an outline and makes the center of it transparent. So then I get this and this. Okay, now I don't have to draw an outline around the outside. Super easy and convenient. Um, let's see if there's a better spot to put me. Maybe down here. Then I can just... I try to be sure to, I don't know. This will be fine. Drawing in landscape, even though it's a short resolution. I don't th think it'll matter, but you do make a good point. Yeah, let's flip it just to be safe. You're right, you're right, you're right. What is the opposite term to rotoscope? I don't, I don't know that there's an opposite. Okay, let's just let's just do this. Let's just delete it all cuz I think it's going to be a different Oh, you know what? I think I made these 1920 by 1080. It did. Okay, hold on a minute. So why did these export that way? Format Oh, it's because in few. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, maybe we will have to do it the long way then. Well, no, we won't, right? Because. 
I mean, all of it matches up, right? The mat and the shot are all 1920 by 1080. Um, and it's just one. So like if I, you know, I, once I get them all done and animated, I can just drag and drop and, you know, scale it around to make it fit. It should work. It should work. Basically what happened is, um, so this is like the size and dimension of the normal footage, right? Uh, so any of like the cutting out on the sides here that I was worried about won't matter. Um, so basically when I pop in the animated version, I just copy the transform I already put on this to line it up. Um, Cause like when you when you go in here to fusion to do special work like this it does it on like the base footage and then any effects you've applied in the edit view are applied on top of that um so scaling it up and moving it around um was done technically after cutting it out so this will work time to get drawing let's get in here uh, I've got my brush that's set to six. It shouldn't be. This should be set to five. And this is the part that takes forever. That eyebrow got a bit too big. We can definitely draw his own eyebrows on. I've had a lot of practice. Is that the kind of nose shape I want to go for? Uh, it'll be all right. Yeah, it's fine. Is there a lag when I paint? Uh. Oh, it's like trailing behind the brush. That's what you mean. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's like a Photoshop smoothing. It, like if I turn down smoothing, like it'll, it'll be there in real time. Like it'll match up with the circle, but it will like any micro movement the pen makes while I'm drawing, it'll show up. So my lines will look like this. Even that smoothed it out a little bit, but you, you get what I mean. Actually, I'm kind of curious to compare them here with stabilizer. Pretty dang smooth line. Let's turn off smoothing. That's what's called. I said stabilizer. <laughs> it's not too bad, but like you can see, like if I go slow here, that line wobbles like crazy. Oh yeah, here I was thinking you had the hand of a surgeon. No, I do. Uh, I do. I do. That, that, that last bit was a joke. I do. How is it different from Wacom's precision mode? Uh, no clue. I didn't know they had one. Why not match the colors of the watch? Why not? That's just a fun detail. Don't look there. Don't look there. Do I use a tablet or a mouse? I use the tablet. And before I had the tablet, I used my Surface Pro with the stylus. Okay, that's good enough. Except while we're doing outlines here. Boop, 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 boop. Look, now there's some life in those eyes. Those dead, dead eyes. Alright, let's color in the hair here. Not white. Keep it black. There we go. And... All the little sideburns it missed. Those sideburns aren't even. 
There they go. Okay. And, uh... Oh, now I use a selection... Selection tool, the magic wand tool. Uh, select all the parts that I want to be a specific color. So, all the skin. And then I have a, another action save that expands that selection just a bit so that it goes underneath the outline. So it fills in most of the gaps. These little tight spaces it has a little trouble with sometimes. But uh, yeah. Uh, this was finger under here. Okay, um, we're also gonna... Oh, let's turn on sample all layers. Okay, we'll throw in this. And that. Oh, we're on the wrong layer. Okay, um... Let's figure this out. I have a website I like to use. Called Coolors. Um, it's just like, it, it's a it's color palette selection it kind of shows you compatible palettes uh so we can kind of go through here and find like a nice color combo um i don't know th this could be oh this is kind of like the pants colors that i'm wearing right now You know what I could do? Let's see. Um, is it not in here? Oh, here it is. Okay. Um, I mean, why not, right? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna turn this off. my video I can wear my merch if I want to <laughs> uh, we'll just cut oh, 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 oh. okay 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 Photoshop okay I don't know this yeah it's fine for pants there we go let's just keep keep the colors accurate um, I'll do a little bit of shading I just have a color darker than the normal skin color selected I just kind of come in here and contour about. Okay, uh, let me also take this here. Yeah, Photoshop said no, absolutely. It did. That's not a good color here. Okay, let's take this here. Yeah, that'll do. Um, just give a shoulder some shade. And then kind of fill that there. Okay. Let's actually do it like this as well. Why not, right? And also at this stage, you can do whatever you want. You can, you can, you can draw things however you want. Get creative with, uh, you know, character shapes and whatnot. 
Okay, yeah, that's me. Now we export. Uh, let's... Whoops. There we go. I want to replace it. No, I don't. I don't. I don't want to replace it. I changed the word. Shot to keyframe. There we go. All right, next one up. Let's delete the old stuff except for the merch logo. That'll stay. We'll use that again. Rasterize layer style. Right side of t-shirt could also be shaded. Yeah, but I'm just, I mean, the light. Goodness, I slammed in my desk. The light that I'm going to add later in the editor is going to be from one side. Um, yeah, there's my hat here. There's seven of these to do. Uh, I recognize the song too much to not know what it is. Paper Mario? I think so. are super clean. Thanks. That's Photoshop smoothing. Not me. Maybe a little both. doing a repeat of last step. Oh. This is a very helpful stream. I've been looking into this stuff the last couple days. Oh, good. That's convenient. And also, this isn't the only like art style you can do like you can i've seen people use it to like straight up replace the clothing they're wearing in a video i've seen it used like uh i think it was like even originally made with the idea of, oh whoops what i do of uh making paintings move Now we gotta, let me duplicate this, because I want to keep like a normal oriented one. Riding your forearm, it's exciting. True. Oops. Right. 
Yeah, that'll be all right. And then where's the this is the light gray I used, I think. Gonna have a shadow go underneath the arm the whole way around. And then back down. Cool. first so this angle is going to be the same is this the kind of music i listen to while animating or is this just stream music so it's i mean it's on right now specifically for the stream but like i'll also listen to this type of thing all the time <laughs> this is maybe a little silly compared to what I would normally listen to, but... Uh, oh, wait. I didn't duplicate it. I edited the old one. Okay. Something like that. Okay. Oh, all this is old. Except the 340. Okay. Yeah, that can stay. Duplicate that. And rasterize layer. So, in a second, once I get down there, I'll show you a little trick that I do sometimes to get rid of things that ended up in the like keyframe footage that I didn't want there. So, I'm going to erase the, the outline here, because I don't really want the he headrest at all. Um, and then instead what I'll do is I'll grab a bright green. I'll even go down a layer here. I'm just going to hit it with the bright green. So, um, when it tries to, like, track this... Oh gosh, when it tries to, like, track the headrest... Um, an absinthe, it should color it bright green, and then I can key it out and remove it. That's the idea. We'll see if that works. See how this can get monotonous at this point, right? Uh, 
that. So do that black. Whoops. Earlier when I was adjusting this, I was adjusting it again for the previous frame. Do I do this every frame or does it interpolate between frames? Good question. It will interpolate. And you'll see that work uh, in a little bit. How's this going to be? I don't know, something like that. Realistically, that design is going to smudge right out pretty instantly. <laughs> this was a super fun look into how it's going, but sadly it's 10 a.m. and I haven't slept, so bedtime for me. Wait, wait, wait. Like you didn't sleep all night and 10 a.m. is bedtime? Okay. Oh, my Lord. Yep. LOL. Yeah, go get to bed. Sam, thank you for the five months. I appreciate that very much. Okay. We're about to have three out of seven done. We're we're making progress. my gray. I think that's it. It shows that I do this often, does it? All right, that's a third. Joe, thank you very much for becoming a channel member. I appreciate it very much. Oh, and that Photoshop is really good because I'm so fast. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say that reflects on Photoshop at all. Take on an intern would be a good compositing credit. <laughs> hey, maybe I'll reach out to a college. You uh, I feel like that's way too narrow. I feel like... Oh, that's not too bad. The shot has your eyes... Hold on, if the shot has your eyes closed too, Epicenter will just have them closed almost the whole time, right? This, for as long as this keyframe extends. Um, you'll see later, you'll see later. Yeah, like in, in keyframes two and three, and probably the rest of this, I'm looking down, so my eyes eyelids are low um looks like my eyes are closed which is fine like it's gonna look i mean it matches the footage so it's gonna look right
Push attack, welcome in. Oh, shoot. There we go. That's good enough. Ah! What's this song? It's a banger. Um, 15. The Submission Plaza on the Check Me Out channel. <laughs> I didn't really use the Check Me Out Plaza. Or channel, I mean. Okay. I'm probably going to say that every single time I finish an outline. I think I do that even when I'm by myself. <laughs> oh shoot, I did the black on the same layer, so I just got to be careful. It's not an issue. You're like top 50% of me making contests for Luigi once. <laughs> Been a rough life trying to top that. That, I mean, that's an achievement. And all of Nintendo users, you had a top half Luigi, so good for you. Um, this is also gonna be white. Yeah, that's fine. It's whatever. Oops. On the topic of art, I just want to let you know that I got a mechanical pencil with a super thick lead and it's rad. I didn't know they made those. I guess it doesn't break all that often. If at all, even. Oh. I've managed to avoid it so far, but sometimes when I'm trying to press G for the paint bucket, I fat finger and I hit F, which makes Photoshop go full screen, which means that I have to rotate through its different full screen modes until I get back to normal. Very frustrating. Whoops. Just got a bottom lip here. Let me get some more natural light back in here. Let me let me fix this. No need to go for a lamp. And I have the sun. You know how it goes. Yeah, I don't know. I like a good wood pencil. Ooh, whoops.
Ooh. Why does that feel... Okay, there we go. A little curve. Bam. Wonderful. So the hands are going to have a little shadow underneath. Three more. A quill, feather, and ink. It's better than pens or pencils. Mm. Um, I might be right. Stone etched tablets, even better. I agree. I think you guys are also forgetting about stick and dirt. And or sand. Oh no! Photoshop bug. It freezes up and I can't select a new tool. Uh, we'll actually throw this in here. So I have to save it. And then close it. And then reopen it. Now we're good to go. Let's see. I don't know how many updates I've done on Photoshop, and that's still an issue. I use a tablet, a Wacom. song. What is going on? I guess we're just going to listen to Meowing Cats for a while.
Yeah, I mean, this song's kind of making me want to... If you catch my meaning. Turn that back on. Oh, this reminds me, there's new Mario Kart courses coming out tomorrow. Hype. How long will this take? Well, Cooper, sorry to take up so much of your time. We're almost done drawing. Then there's a whole other can of worms after drawing is done, so a while. Oh no, I'm just curious. <laughs> I'm also not serious. Um, yeah, it, it could... There's, uh, yeah, there's a little bit to figure out with like the actual mailbox and, and the compositing. I, I, I don't know if I want to do that in Blender or if I want to, I might do it in Blender. I might model a quick mailbox. We'll see. Um, a s oh yeah. So the, the, the shading I'm drawing on, I used to just like not, and like it was, fine all things considered um i tried it out on the like batman but the bat single is broken video and i liked it a lot it added just a little bit more depth to the image which i thought looked really really nice uh so i've done it since some days where I wake up I go to the computer and I do this all day all day your official opinion on National Women's Day. All right, uh, this is this is it, ready? And it, some of you may not agree, but my official opinion on National Women's Day is good. I feel like every time we tune in one of your streams, that song is playing. 
Yeah, I should I should find a new a new video with music to play. I should absolutely do that. Welcome and hi, how are you? Oh, I deleted it. We want to not delete the layer. Um, anyways, cram that like that and like shrink the one end a little bit. Just kind of throw it on here a little further. There it goes. Dang, should have asked for the unofficial one. Oh, well, I can also give you my unofficial opinion on National Women's Day if you would like. Um, it's pretty similar. Um, so it goes, it goes like this. My, my unofficial opinion is great. So what did I just do? What is happening? Okay, we're good. Recovered. Okay, I have to surgically follow this line all the way down. Okay, that's good enough. Bro, do you have to do this for every frame in every video? Nope. No, no, no. That's the beauty. Um, and we'll get to the, the second part of this process after one more keyframe, actually. Almost done with this one, and then I draw one more. Um, basically, you select your keyframes based on how much movement there is in the shot. So you kind of want to do keyframes before and after big movements, maybe even in the middle of them if you want extra clarity. But yeah. Uh, what do I feel about International Men's Day? I feel like we don't need it. This one's gonna go super fast. Uh, cause it's just my back. Oh gosh! Okay, here we go. I missed. There we go. Okay. I gotta speed run this keyframe. Nope. Shoot. Shoot. <laughs> this is not working. <laughs> You're gonna draw the back of the heads. The three guys on my shirt. I'm actually not, unfortunately. I'm sorry to let you know. Oh, wait. Okay, and uh, we'll just go a uh, nice big line down the center of the back. Very cool. Um, let's get the color in. Nope, that's not it. I don't think the selection's gonna really get- Oh, wrong layer. I don't think the selection's really gonna get into the ear, so I'm just gonna brush it in. Great. Are you making this whole animation on stream? That's the idea. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Here we go. Little Caribou, thank you for five months. I appreciate it very much.
Mochi, welcome in. Go do the shirt shading. Oh, and a bit of the neck, I guess I could do. Thank you for becoming a channel member. All right, that's the last keyframe, people. We've done it. We've done all the drawing. Okay. So now we open up Absinthe. Okay, now I just grab the keyframes here and the video. I set my video weight to 10 usually. Uh, we go to mat, grab the mat for the shot. Mapping 30, D flicker 1.5, diversity default. Is your voice audio all just part of the live action video components or do you tinker with it after animating a scene? Normally I, I record the like voice dialogue when I'm actually recording the footage. I mean, it, it depends. Maybe a line gets scuffed and I re-record it after or I don't know. There's like a phone call, characters on the other end of the phone. I'll record it after that type of thing. Though sometimes I remember it while I'm filming and I'll just stand there and get the audio then. Depends. All situational. Um, so here's a little trick. So let's see. This starts... What's the first frame of this? 182. Okay. And it ends on... 493. So like, it starts the range that each keyframe renders at just random frames. And I don't want to find those random frames and have to line that up later. So I do something to make it easier and also to give myself more room to work with. So I just go to the first half of the keyframes and I just toss them down to f the first frame of the shot. Uh, same at the end, except the last half goes to the end frame of the shot. Makes that super easy to line up later. Now we run it. Now we're waiting. You guys can't see because of my big head. Um, this is what I'm talking about right here. So 182, 182, 182, and then after that, 493, 493, 493, 493. So now that's going to be rendering out and interpolating those keyframes to fit the rest of the video for the whole shot. I love all your animations, but I think my all-time favorite is Gawain and the Green Knight. Thank you. <laughs> I kind of knew that wasn't going to do super well going in, but I thought it was funny, and I liked the Green Knight movie a whole lot. Uh, what's my personal favorite? I'm always going to have a, a, a soft spot for who peed my pants. I think that's a good one. Um, let's see, what else is there? I don't know, I think Who Peed My Pants is a, is a top favorite. I, was, I must know what's your favorite dinosaur. Ooh. I think, I think, it's, it's the, I went to source. 
Uh, yeah, the Seinfeld one, I, I'm super proud of. Thank you. <laughs> the New Year one. <laughs> yeah, what if humans molted? <laughs> no, it's a T-Rex. It's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I'm so, it, it, it's a T-Rex. It's a T-Rex. I was joking before. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's be organized, folks, here. Real OG's treasure left you, Lenny. Exactly. <laughs> okay, uh, for those who may have shown up later, let's review while absinthe is running so we have uh i don't really know how many frames this is um a lot more than seven a lot more than seven frames look at that um so throughout all of this you can see like so i walk here i can play it here so i walk forward right i turn to my right open a thing grab some stuff and then drop those things so you kind of want to keyframe like at the start um you know, in this movement, you want a couple keyframes. Like the arm goes, starts up and goes down. So I have a keyframe it up, a keyframe it down, a keyframe. Once I'm like grabbing the thing, so somewhere in like here, one like right here, one at this turn, and then one when I'm facing it away. That kind of covers all of the movement, right? So somewhere in all of this, I'll be able to get frames that look animated, frames that look good each part of that big extended movement and normally in an animation like this I would try to avoid a shot with a lot of movement like that has but since this one is just the one shot it's fine I would not do a five minute animation with all shots like that though though that's kind of what the Seinfeld one was you know it's Kramer Moving around all the time, and <laughs> and then George is always talking with his hands, and they're swinging all over the place. Like it, it was just a lot of movement. This is gonna take a minute. Let's see if we can't. Uh... I think your favorite is the Stardew Valley after read the wiki. That's a classic. That's a classic. Mailbox. Okay, but it's, you know, it would be good if I typed in the correct spelling. Uh, oh my gosh. This is free, eh? Is it rigged? No. <laughs> yeah, I, I get... Oh, this is a personal use license. Unfortunately, this is not going to be personal use. Um, I don't know. I feel like... Okay, we could also try Turbo Squid. Gotta go now, you have a date with a goblin. Hey, good luck at your gate, be careful. At your gate? At your date. Uh, they can be tricky creatures. Mailbox, let's search that. Uh, price. Free. Wow, that's a fancy mailbox. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's on sale for $34. This is free. Wow. That's a lot. Um, okay. Uh, 
uh, are royalty free unless otherwise noted. Let's go download. You, it's the stream has been going for a while. This is true, but uh, there's still a lot more left. I don't know what kind of info this is going to ask for me to log in. So I'm just going to be safe and full screen for a moment. Um, I think I have a Shutterstock login. Oh yeah, absolutely I do. Oh, but I also just have a Turbo Squid. I think I had a Turbo Squid account beforehand. download an FBX and an OBJ just to be safe. Sometimes one will work better than the other in Blender. Mail short. Uh, let's make a Blender folder. And I'll switch back to screen share in just a moment. This OBJ. Okay. There we go. These are finishing up. Um, let's do anime. Ooh, animated shot. Animated shot. And as you can see, it, each keyframes render is populating into these folders. And we're almost done. Once certain keyframes finish, they uh, make these go faster. Kind of snowballs. I laugh to myself. I, I just I just saw one right now. Uh, every time I get a comment that's like, <laughs> you could have actually tried to make it funny, because you know that person's just sitting on the other end. You know, they're just like, mm. actually, my intellect is way too high for this video. This is too way too silly, willy for me. Like I'm w literally smarter than this. Like it's not even funny to me. Like you really have to. Make jokes referencing like 14 different uh, scholars and philosophers for it to be funny to me. It's, so I, I don't even get it because it's dumb. That, that's just the personality I, I picture on the other end. <laughs> that's literally me if they watch Coco Melon. <laughs> I guess that's fair. I guess that's fair. Oh, where'd that go? Oh, here we go. Okay, great. Um, George is getting upset. Is literally quoted by at least four philosophers. Uh, true. All right, so now I start dragging these in and naming these like they're levels in Mario. One bench two. One dash three. I think f four. Yeah, four is where it started going to the end. So now one dash four. Uh, let me. Oh, let not move that. No, me. Move me. Here we go. You guys can see better now.
Uh, 1-6. Okay, one more. Okay, so... Let's zoom in here. We can turn off this layer. We really don't need it. I think this all lines up. Yeah. Actually, let's turn it on. It's a good backdrop so you can actually see like the hair and stuff. Okay, that's... That's probably good right there. Uh, Lost Cause. Hello. Hey, Matthew. I've watched your content for a while. Every now and then, it's such a nice piece of positive energy. I love that using the outlet media to make people smile and chuckle. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, oh my goodness, the swinging arms made quite a mess. I oh, want like right here somewhere. Oh, wow. Do channel memberships count toward your super chat goal? Unfortunately, they don't. I don't know how to set that up through Streamlabs. I've taken a look a couple times, couldn't figure that out. Um, okay, so there's a little, like, that arm swing is super crazy. Like, wah, wah. We'll, we'll check out the rest of this and we'll see how it ends up. I, I, I know it's not, this music sounds like Persona. Uh, I don't know, somewhere in here maybe? Is anarchism based? Half. Um, now I'm just adding cross dissolves here. So instead of, oh goodness, instead of like hard pops, you kind of get a little bit of a fade in between. Uh, that's right, Don Lozano. Tela Mangia. Mangia? See, but this is just these short, it's fine. Now let's combine it into shot one. Bam. And now we can just have it eat up the other shot that was there. This is Mario Odyssey music. It's you're close, Katie. I mean I think it might show up again in Mario Odyssey, but this is just Bob on Battlefield from Super Mario 64, I think. Oh, actually, I just looked at it. Actually, this is from... Oh gosh, I just looked at it. Throwback Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy 2. So it's a galaxy, it's Super Mario Galaxy 2 that takes you back to an area like in early Super Mario 64 and plays you the music. New Donk City music? No, this isn't New Donk City, this isn't New Donk City. It's from Super Mario Galaxy 2. Oh, what's... Yeah, what's this, Katie? What is it? <laughs> Alright, let's zoom the heck in. Holy smokes. Okay, guys, I'm going to be reading a lot of names. Space Pope, thank you for gifting 20 memberships. 
Thank you very much for gifting 20 memberships. Um, Alchemy, Katie McCleskey, Katie, Kitty Aloof, Jen, Colton Bolton. That's a funny name. <laughs> Colton Bolton. Why does it sound so familiar? I'm hung up on it. Nat Wolf, The Second Sons, Peyton, Leilani Davis, Nap of Eternity. Oh gosh, it's jumping all around. Um, uh, where was I? Nap of Eternity. Uh, Chance Canson, Dennis Mayak, Beanie Bees, Simply Monster, Eduardo Perez, Someone HTHT, Redbeard RPG, Atlas, Supercritical Snake, uh, Derek B, Sid Hackney. I think that's everybody. I mispronounced your name. Sorry, I was going quick. Colton Bolton. Maybe it's just I've seen the username before. You know what it is? You know what it is? I'm thinking Troy Bolton of High School Musical. Mama Therm, welcome in. Thank you very much for the $10 super chat. I appreciate that very much. How are you doing today? Okay, so here's what we'll do. Let's, let's get this in here. Um, One, two, three, four, five, space, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thank you very much for the twenty dollars super chat. Your version of Geralt was brilliant. Let's eat some hot sauce. Uh, let's do it. If I may ask, if it's an appropriate question, why the space between five and six? Okay, so okay. Let's scoot this over a bit so we can see this um, a little more. So what I'm going to do is export this real quick. MP4, that's fine. Uh, Blender, camera, B, BG. First and last name, duh. Oh my gosh, of course. My bad. <laughs> um, Mail short, we'll throw this in Blender. Uh, I'll show you what I'm going to do with this. We don't need audio. It doesn't need to be a transparent background either, so MP4 will work. Okay. Uh, we're not going to need Photoshop. Save this. Close that. Let's get Blender open. Um, okay. First thing in Blender, delete the default cube. Don't need it, won't need it. Um, import, let's do an FBX. I th think that's gonna work better. Look at that. Okay, so they didn't join these. Which, honestly? Convenient, because I was gonna get rid of that post anyway. As well as... Is this a light underneath? What is this? Oh, I see. Okay. Um, we're going to go actually go on edit mode here and delete. This should, what? This should work. Delete. Delete the vertices. Okay. Why is it being weird? What on earth is happening? Okay, let's wireframe it then. Bolts. Oh, this is all... Okay. Oh, there we go. Yep. This object. Delete that object. What are these hooks? Object mode, I guess, would have it. And delete those. Rad. Uh, just passing by, I want to say I love your Stardew Valley series. Thank you very much. Shift A, let's add a cylinder. Uh, mm. 
We're gonna join all of these. Um, just make one object. That didn't work. Why didn't that work? I guess we we're just supposed to move the armature. That's fine. That makes sense. Um, let's get that in the center here. We'll face it forward. Um, bring it down. Okay, we are going to have to grab everything here at the front of the mailbox, though. Like, if, okay, so that's not everything still. This two, that, 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 oh, that, uh, what is happening? Okay, that's fine. Put this in the back. Please tell me. Okay, I think that's everything. I'm gonna control J join those and now. Yeah, shoot, I knew it. Oh, okay, great. And then there was one more thing. Oh wait. I don't want Okay, got it. Okay. Um, th hold up. This part up here, that also needs to join it. Set origin to 3D cursor. That's gonna make it rotate. Yeah. Except, now that I'm looking at this. Oh, shoot, wait, no, no, that can, that can go back. So we want this, we want this, we want this, we want this. And then just the front. Because this should... Oh, shoot. Um, origin to... 3D cursor. Over X. What on earth? What is this? Um, okay, let's add a modifier real quick. Solidify. Jeez, okay. Going to do this separately then. Solidify. A little thicker. Now, we combine it with these. I uh, could use more custom emojis. Yes, I could. When I have free time someday. Control J. Set origin to 3 cursor. That didn't solidify this at all. Uh, see you, Moosh Attack. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, maybe I needed to apply. There we go. And again, set up origin of 3D cursor. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be good enough.
All right, let's make this. Okay, and also to help make this fit in a little better, we're gonna do something else here. Uh, grease pencil, we wanna do a stroke. Scale this the heck up. Edit mode. Control A. Control A? Oh, just A. Okay, we delete all the vertices. All the points. And then we want to do... How do we do this? Get some modifiers. We do... Uh... This is a lot of work for a, a mailbox. Oh, you want to see, see f Mr. Fuzz, f good lord. <clears throat> you want to see Mr. Fuzzy Wumps himself? <laughs> You're okay. Hey, buddy. Ah! Quit nibbling. Just quit squirming, dude. That's it. That's it. Don't look at me like that. He is, uh, mad that I awoke him. Okay, back to this. It's also cylinder smooth. Um, okay. Where is it? Oh, line art. That's it. Okay. We don't want that on that. We want it on the mailbox. So, line art. Oh, yeah. Let's do a collection. New collection. We want to put cylinder and mailbox in. Okay. So it'll be collection two, layer, lines, material black. Where's the camera? Oh, I see what has happened. Okay. Collection two did not work how it was supposed to. Let's, uh... I don't know, if we just join... Oh, I'm in edit mode, here we go. Okay, if I join these... That's not how I wanted to do that, I think. I'm not as uh, versed in Blender as I am in other things, so... Excuse my confusion. Um, let's also grab the camera here. You're gonna want to put the camera. I don't know. It's gonna be like this. Actually, we want even inclusion is fine. We're gonna want a sense of 24 and then 1080 by 1920. I don't know, something like this. I want this. 
Oh no, it's in the Blender folder. I want this. Right here, open clip. Uh, got a swing, looking forward to the full vid. Cheers, thanks again for the great skates. Absolutely, thanks for stopping by. Okay, so grabbing the top. even bigger, huh? So, yeah. See, that'll be fine. I'm reach in, grab these out. Yeah, okay, great. So then we want to do... Rotation on the x-axis is what we're going to change. Let's put a keyframe here, and then it comes down. So... Also gonna edit, but like, what are these faces in here, man? Uh, what? What? Hello? Oh, there we go. Uh, delete the faces. Yeah, okay, that worked. Okay, um, anyway. With the line art modifier. I don't know. I th think we can do it here. Yeah, so do it on collection. Material black. We want it to be lines. Um, thickness way down. trying to do is just add a black outline all around this. Base mark filtering. I don't know what any of that does. I mean, it's fine. How does this look like with the actual light? Did I model the post box? Uh, I did not. I pulled it off of um, Turbo Squid. EV, yeah, that's fine. We'll set that to 100. Um, I'll have to come forward. Shift D to duplicate it. We're going to put another light right here. yucky in there. That's fine, that'll do. Um, okay. Where'd the background image go? Front? Oh, here we go. 
Why does that? Oh, it's because it's before frame zero. We'll let her out. And uh, okay. Yeah, we'll save the blender file, I guess. Should have already. That was kind of risky to have not done that. If it crashed, I would have lost it all. It's happened a lot, actually. Mailbox.blend. Save. Okay. What's my opinion on fish? Tasty, most of the time. A little stinky. When there is mail, you put the f the arm up, right? Uh, don't worry about how all these lines look. It's just rendering all the outline lines based on the view of the camera. So, um, that's why it looks a little funky. Okay, yeah, that goes up. Cool. And the arm stays in front. Oh, wait. So, yeah. Actually, this will work. Entirely. I think we just put the mailbox behind. We only have no ads, please, stickers. Funny you should say that. Impress the shirt logo. Uh, interpolation. Yeah, it always does that way better than I expect it to. Way better. Um, okay, let's... Let's figure out how we want to do this. So, I can freeze frame it. Uh, is there a fish in the mailbox? No. No, there's not. So the animation starts at 126. So we'll start, okay. Uh, we'll start at 120. And then it opens uh, 140. Yeah, and it, I just freeze frame it before and after. Not a problem. And it saves how much I have to actually render. I don't know how it's going to handle rendering while I am in a stream. We're about to figure that out. Can I render from Blender and stream at the same time? Okay, let's make a folder here called Mailbox Render. Um, mailbox. Accept. Uh, it's going to do a PNG sequence. And that's what we want. So render animation. This might kill the stream. It's an EV render. It should be alright. Oh yeah, lightweight. Let's go. No problem. Uh, I think we're good. I think we're done. Yeah, that was super fast. All good. <laughs> that was pretty easy. And here we have it. Oh, hey. No, we don't. Though, uh, it was pretty lightweight, so I'm actually going to just render the whole thing. So I can just line it up. I think it's going to be faster that way. Bloom. Do we want bloom? We don't want bloom. Depth the field, don't need it. Screen space reflections, probably don't need it. Motion blur, eh, nah. Um, okay, let's go to uh, this. Let me go to... F what? Where is it? Oh, it's in here. My bad. Under film, transparent. Now the background's actually going to be transparent, which it wasn't before. Oopsie, whoopsie. Um, Ateo Leia, subscribe today. Thank you very much. Let's try, okay, let's try this again. This is going to be from frame one and 
until oops three twelve Actually, it's going to be way easier to just freeze frame after the animation, right? And it's still going to line up. Um, have I been using Blender for a long time? Um, kind of. Off and on. If you watched the Big Goron animation I did, I uh, like the Ocarina of Time song parody. Uh, it is... Some of it's just game footage, but a lot of it is also done in Blender. Oh yeah, look at the frames up there. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It, it is just... Have you ever made Darth Vader with this animation? Yes. Yes, I have. Characters like... Like Darth Vader or like... Uh, like... Darth Vader's helmet is so intricate. Like the little chest plate thing is so intricate. Like everything about him is super freaking intricate. So it's just way easier to do it in 3D. And you'll see that in a lot of like animated shows, like cars, vehicles, that type of thing. Um, sometimes characters, especially in like anime, people get furious when they see it in an anime for some reason. Like you don't expect the animator to draw perfect perspective of a car racing down a road and drifting around a corner and all this crazy perspective change. That's crazy of you to expect that of an animator. So 3D animation, it helps. And normally I'd also do it like a sort of cartoon shader on this, but I think it looks kind of animated already. Hey, look at that, it's done. Okay, I'm gonna actually close Blender for real this time. Okay, so now we want um, mailbox. Mailbox render, it's in here. Let's drag this all here. Watch this frame here, we're gonna, I'll have to, wait. Speed. Freeze frame. Spider Verse was 3D and it's crazy good. Yeah, I, I, not discounting 3D animation. I'm just like in a in a normally 2D animation. Sometimes 3D sticks out and can make people upset when they catch it, which I'm also saying is uh, silly. Mailbox. Except spelled correctly. What app am I using? This is DaVinci Resolve. I used to use all the Adobe apps, but they crash and are uh, just, I hate them now. <laughs> there we go. Yay. So, okay. We know that mailbox is there, so that's good. Let's, let's try something real quick. Fusion clip. So now if I come in here, uh, let's find a spot where I'm clipped out. So if I drag this, so yeah, it did cut me off. For real, for real. Which we're not gonna want, because if I do this, position, like I'm, I'm still here. Okay, so now that we have 
this combined mailbox thing right here, I think we're good to actually remove it out of the timeline. And then we can just do this. Oh my Lord. Okay, let's just, let's try this. So mailbox, we're gonna throw that in. We're gonna merge it on top. Bam. So why did it do? Oh, but then we can just do this. Yeah, okay, no problem. Looks like a lot of hard work for a video idea. A uh, little bit. Can be. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, right. We want the mailbox behind. Okay. There goes the green. Cool. Except it outlined it here. Is that because of this? Kind of. It's whatever. It's fine. It's quick. One of those shirt things changed color. Oh, you're right. Uh, that's because I just haven't done this. So I, this is the effect that's keying out the green, and I want that to only affect this zone right in here. Um, Cause that's where the hand thing is. So I just throw the mask on here. And now look, it only affects in that circle. Uh, there it goes, very cool. So let's do something real quick. Let's throw on a transform. So this is going to be our... Uh, this really doesn't require setting up the scene in 3D and, and DaVinci, which I do sometimes. I think we can make this work. Ooh, why is this happening again, though? see the issue. Okay. So we kind of want this to be like a... Okay. Might need to set this up in 3D then. So let's do it. So we need, uh, mer wait, image plane 3D. Um, I don't think we need this merge then. So this goes here. Um, we need a merge 3D. A renderer. 3D. 
that goes to the out. This needs to go on top, and then this goes by. Come on. Oh, of course. Another image plane 3D. Actually, we might be able to just throw that in here. Nope. Oh, there it is. That is the second one. Another the merge. Yeah, okay. Um, so now if we go to merge 3D here. Uh, we could see this. Though it looks like it's still... It's still cutting out. Not a fan of that. Um, where should I send great ideas for animations? In the Discord, my Discord, you can find the link to in the description. There is a channel thing. Uh, is the edges thing not it? think so? No. So maybe. Um. Let's just try this. Okay, this also did it at 1080 by It should be this. I don't know why this is doing it this way. Let's try something first. Uh, camera 3D. Oh. Do I have the backgrounds for last? It depends. Um, it will be we soon. Yeah, I am thinking hard. I don't know why. I mean, okay, like uh, if I move this, it's fine. Okay, if I take this transform. Okay, let's animate it just based off this. Let's try this first. 
because then I might be able to just copy the transform to the other, to like the mailbox. So we want it to start here. Uh, so we want center and size. 3.41 is the size we're at. So let's. Actually, we'll, we'll just make the mailbox come into frame. Hydration break, thanks. <sighs> Brain's working now, okay. Why is this now on top of the mailbox? Oh, I think it's just like... Yeah. Push that back a bit, and then scale it up a bit. Oh wait, no, 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 no. That's not right. We want a oh, mailbox behind. There we go. Great. So first, what we want is we want. <laughs> Rose energy went from one to one thousand real quick by drinking water. It's magic. It yes, that's how it goes. Go forward. So about like right here, we can start our pan over to the mailbox. Uh, we'll just have this go here. And yeah. Let's transform one. We need to find that keyframe and smooth it. Right. And then takes the mail out and bringing it towards the center. I'm going to set another keyframe. Bring it into the middle. So, about right here, we want this to go back to center. Um, I'm going to have to do the same thing here where I smooth these keyframes. And then. Holds them, holds them, holds them. Another keyframe here. And then off to the side, and we go. Ooh. Why is that clipping? Maybe this needs to go after all of these. So strange. Okay, let's try this. Maybe if I drag this back this way. And then bring this out. That was it. It's the thing with making videos. It's just sometimes it don't work. Oh, wait a sec. Oh no, it didn't move at all a little bit. That's fine. I mean, I need that to be actually centered. This comes out to the right a little bit. Uh, back over a little bit. Also, this needs to be over a little bit. Um, yeah, and then this can go here.
Wait, what? Oh, no, 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 no. I'll get rid of that one. Okay, I think this, this is going to work. I think it's going to work. Maybe not. So we need to set the size to one, and then it will. Then it moves perfectly. I thought. Um, this moves here, but then like, he stops moving, but this one still goes. Uh, let's just take this value here. Let's get it to like... Right here. And then it just keeps scooting away. Why does it do that? Another one right here. Keep it in place. Bam. And then it moves. Okay. Let's do something real quick. Playback. Earn your cash. Smart. Problem is, this needs to be linear. So then it just. Okay, great. And same deal here. What transform. Control. Or right click. And There's not a key. Oh my gosh, man. Oh, it's this one. I see. Oh. He looks like I look when I animate right before I quit. <laughs> I'm getting there. It's okay, it's just tricky computer stuff. Okay, wait, why is this slinking in slowly? Okay, uh, I'll take the X value here, I'll just copy it, and then paste it here. Sorry, there we go. Now it should be normal. Yay! <gasps> OK, 
Okay, I think... We can also do something fun here. Just another detail. We throw in a camera shake. Throw, throw it... What? Shake. Maybe this one. Throw it, throw it in. No? Okay, never mind. Apparently we're not... Does DaVinci autosave? Yes, like almost per click. It's incredible. That's why even when it does crash, you've never lost more than like a minute of work. We need a background. Um, I'm gonna do something real quick. My IP has potential to show up, which is why I went full screen. Um, I'm going to open up Stable Diffusion. And just render a house front. Thanks for the stream. We'll catch you on the rest of the time. Yes, uh, I'm seeing a lot of that uh, for people who need to go to sleep. Um, this live stream is going to live on the channel, um, in the live streams tab. So if you want to go look at it after, that's where it's going to be. Okay, it's running. Let's open it. Um, green share. So, I just want to do the normal one here. Um, a, a, oh, what just happened? A suburban house front photo reel daytime ready. Let's see if we can go up to like 1080 by 1080. What is this error? Expected all tensors to be on the same device. Found at least two devices. I don't. What, what does that mean? Um. Oh, is it running now? Hello, test. Hello. We're back. Yeah, so we're not uh we're not gonna use AI to generate a house. Not doing that. That crashed it. Okay. Um 
Um, okay. wasn't your internet it was my computer only obs crashed not the full computer so that's a that's a win you know See if I can find a house here. Is this back? Oh. Okay, I see. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this. Well, hold on. So if the, the mailbox is in front, so we can't do it there. We're gonna have to do, okay. After these, we throw this in. We want this to go on top. Let's go here, just go here. So this needs to be resized. Don't do that. Um. Okay, so if the Okay, this needs to start bigger. So all the panning and moving around should work. That's right. Um, except mailbox has to come. Hold on, I've done something weird. Yeah, that's right. Okay. start the house this big by the time it, we get to like this point we want to I'll do the center as well oh, it's like one frame forward right here we'll do this this we'll size it down a tad we 
What's your favorite hot sauce? Oh, I have no clue. Uh, transform 2. Where'd that be? Actually, though, what the heck? Where is it? Why would that... What? I actually don't think we need any of the 3D stuff. top this goes behind okay it's what, what huh? what is why why would it do that man It's not my favorite, absolutely. Um, we want that set there, so we also want... Oh... business now. Um, let's see. Now I need a trash can image. Close, close. Katner6112, thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate all the last minute videos. Thank you, and thank you. I appreciate that very much. would also like to point out that uh, normally making a video is not this big of a headache for whatever reason um, it started wilding out today don't know what that was about
yeah, I think we're just gonna throw this in right here. Uh, we'll flip it. So this is not gonna move around. Yeah. So we don't want this right here. So I kind of want it to show up only at the end as a sort of uh, reveal. So I think if I get this in place here, like right here, um, yeah, like right here, we can have it move in. So I'll center it here and then a few frames behind and then it's far away. So now walking up, and like at the mailbox, it's not really there. And then we pan over and oh, look. Now trash can here. I'm gonna drop it. Except. Uh, okay. And this needs the, oh shoot. The trash can needs to be ahead or in front of everything else. So we'll take this. Um, I mean, I think if we just throw the transform on that as well, it still works just the same. Where is it? Oops. Oh, here it is. Okay, so... It just slinks away, huh? It's so odd. Okay. Drag this a tad. And I guess in the transform, it... Why does it... Oh, what on earth? Oh! It's because I flipped... Okay. Okay, okay. So I flipped it on the merge node, which means that every direction that this transform was giving was opposite so to fix that i just unflip it here and then i flip it again in this transform okay Ooh, wait and drop it in and then turns away cool except i think it could go a little lower okay and I have the preset animation effect right here Just throw it on top and we can even cut it right there just as I start to move. Uh, so I guess the joke's out there. Time to explain it. Uh, the title is going to be Getting Mail in 2023. I feel like nobody gets any meaningful mail anymore unless it's tax season. Okay, now we just gotta get some audio. So, 
Let me do a couple things. Um, I'm going to record some audio real quick. It's my tablet's pen. Okay, here we go. So, mailbox opens, grabs out of it, and then drops it. So, I'm going to record on this mic. Or do I need to? Let's see if this it's working today. I need to arm for record. See, it doesn't arm for record. So let's see. Preferences. User. Or video in and out. See, this is my right microphone. Save. See, why are the only options not my mic? <sighs> okay, let's... Yeah, I'll just use this mic, it's fine. That'll do for our, our letters. Um, now we're gonna need trash can noises. I have an idea. box opening. We're done today, so we want these. Uh, we're gonna go to yeah, ASMR. You're welcome. By the way, <laughs> my cat looked up to the screen. Sorry. Uh, let's make a new bin here for SFX. Okay, we're doing a um, sound now, so we're gonna turn the music off. Here we go. So th what is this, mailbox noise? That's good, right there. <laughs> right in there. Oh, it's doing the freaking thing, huh? Actually, here, let's do this. Um, yeah. 
Okay. Um, so it only plays out a left channel when you do it in there uh, for some reason. Uh, so I got got to go in, set it to stereo, and then set the left and right to that one channel. I don't know why that's the case, but it is. Um, here you go. Right here. Um, so we want that to be a lot quieter. Okay, and then it looks like... Oh, both cats are on the ground right now. Hey, Salem. Want to say hi? Want to say hi? He was about to wrestle Momo. Um, oh, it's 1.10 a.m. for you, Lost Cause. Um, yeah, you'll be able to watch it later. Thanks for stopping by. Gotta say, there's the last message. That's a fabulous cat. Thank you. He, he says you're fabulous. Okay. So let's... This is the paper noises, then, I think. Ooh, that's good paper noise. Um, right here. That's good trash noise. A little louder though. And then paper noise. Oh, cool. that right on top here. Okay. I'm also going to go to YouTube sound library, YouTube theater library. It's some walking on grass noises. Step. Wait, sound effect. Step. Um. Dirt, that'll be fine. Put that in our sound effects folder. Okay. Back to it. Footsteps on dirt. What? I'll do footsteps on their own track. I just want to make sure I have enough. Yeah, I'm walking way slower than this so i'll have to do one at a time fun stuff oh, you know what i can do footsteps on the actually i'll leave the top for ambient because there's actually no audio with the uh footage so Step is about right here. Like animation itself, one step at a time. You're absolutely right. Okay. 
Can you record footsteps on the carpet? I could. It just wouldn't sound like grass. It would sound like carpet. You'd be able to tell the difference. It would sound just a little bit off. Wait, hold on. Oh yeah, one right here then. I'm gonna come up here. Another out. Step and then bam. And now we can just kind of use the same since I have a good collection on the timeline itself. Um this one again. Oh, and one more step. And then some steps here at the end. I like a little bit before this, somewhere like right here. Yep, okay. Sound effects all done. Um, let's see if they have like a out. Outdoor. Outdoor ambience. That's what we need. Oh wait, suburb ambience? Mm, oh, yeah. Somebody recorded that on a flip phone. Oh, that's not the right sound. This is. Let's put this here. I wanna trim it and delete it. Why did this, okay. There we go. watching this tiny preview window up here how about how about this let's uh let's give her a watch from the very beginning i think hold on i think there's actually room to uh let's do this Ugh. Eesh. i like to give everything a really tiny we don't have to do that for the footsteps necessarily i maybe this it's really good for like like dialogue scenes and whatnot you don't want like there's kind of like a pop that can happen in between um like lines especially when you're editing uh, so fading between them kind of helps that uh, we are going to put a fade on this maybe not at the end okay here we go let's throw on Oh yeah, video transition cross dissolve. It's a little short. There we go. Um, and let me do one more thing. Broadcast signal? Yeah, color misalignment. A little more. There we go. Okay. Let's watch it. Now this is a YouTube short, um, and I can't break my neck uh, on a YouTube short. So I'm gonna call it. Plus really the main point of making this uh, was kind of just to show the process. I believe that uh, we've done that. So now the fun part, which is, uh, Oops. There we go. Audio, video, done. Uh, render.
We did it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the process. Let me throw the music back on. I'm gonna go full screen. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get this uploaded right here right now. Kind of a good and bad thing of shorts is um, I don't have to make. Um, Oh, in the Blender folder. I don't have to make a thumbnail. So that's cool. But it also stinks, because, like, sometimes you want to make a thumbnail, but it picks for you. Out of, like, a random frame. They don't even, uh, don't even, like, allow you to do, like, a, a TikTok method where you can, like, pick a frame, and it just does whatever. I typed in the description, modern mail is all junk, unless you have a pen pal or it is tax season, as, we, as we've discussed here. Um, gotta submit my ad suitability. Um, it's suitable. I don't even have to do subtitles on this one. That's crazy. <laughs> I could... <laughs> I could end this stream by, you know what? I might do that. I might do that. Uh, set this. Okay. Let's go to customization here. A redirect. I'm going to add a redirect here. Search for my videos. Nothing yet. Okay. We'll schedule this for what time is it now? It's 521 here. We'll do 525. How about that? That gives us time. EM 525 EM set as a premiere set up premiere premiere classic timer uh, one minute if I could do shorter I would I promise um save um 525 that's a little long let's do 523 Okay, guys, I've got the link. I'm scheduling a premiere of a short and I'm gonna redirect from this uh, stream. Here it is, getting me on 2023. Here we have a redirect, save. Okay, guys, uh, in order for you to make the premiere of this, the short you gotta go there thanks for watching uh pump it pump it with likes and comments please and uh i'll see you guys in uh, the next stream thanks for watching